All right. Hello and welcome back. We are going to be exploring fractions with Connor Monster Tamer today. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's go for Cloud Puff today. And as we log in, it's great to see you back here. Let's find out what is happening in a prodigy so the time is now to hear the mythical tale which i will probably go ahead and do maybe in the next uh visit and season two of the arena is happening as well and the ice tower too is also something that has just began so um uh we will go ahead and check out those in future videos but right now we are going to come on up here in order to continue to help our good old buddy Bach, who is enjoying a nice hot beverage there all right we're gonna have to make our way through here so here's our first battle and let's try to turn the volume down just a little bit here all right so we are going to start out with light wave as we attack ah oh, so here we are and the instructions say show the whole circle divided into halves we're going to click on the arrow to change the fraction so we are showing halves and a half is something over two it's when we split it into two so one half would be one over two and so in order to split it into halves we need to have two different areas for our halves remember if we have a question our light bulb is here which is going to help us dividing a shape into halves means dividing the whole into two equal parts understand what we're going to be doing and this should be good we should be good to go so let's go ahead and cast our spell Woohoo! All right, and we have got it for 652 points of damage. Way to go. Now Ice Sneak comes in with Ice Shard and misses. <laughs> All right, let's see. With the Light Wave, well, I'll go ahead and read out loud. The circle represents the only orange you have for today and tomorrow. How should you divide it so you have an equal amount for each day? click on the arrow to change the fraction so if we need to divide it into two days then we have to make sure ooh, we have to make sure that we are we have enough for two days worth so we're going to start up with this as our fraction my computer is doing something a little crazy there and so for two days we would have one half for today, we would save the other half for tomorrow. One half plus one half, I don't know what's going on with that, would be equal to two. So this would be for today's, this would be tomorrow's. All right. 653 points of damage again it looks like one more correct answer and we have got it icicle shard is coming again 338 points of damage the ice sneak landed at that time all right let's go to light wave and we have another word problem we're going to figure out you and one friend want to share a cookie show how you would split the cookie using the circle oh. click on the arrow to change the fraction okay so if this is the part of the cookie that I want and my friend wants the other part of the cookie then we would be looking at two if another friend joined we would have to change it but it looks like me and my friend we just need to go ahead and have two different parts to our cookies and it's equal parts so I uh, we're sharing equally if our line was like this then that would not be equal parts it wouldn't be sharing fairly so when we do fractions it's important that we have equal parts equal parts as we do the fraction and let's see Woo! all right we are on a roll and that was enough for the ice sneak 
Way to go. Thank you for your help. We won. Let's see what we got. Oh, I might hit... Yes! Level 17! Oh, yeah. I gained 102 hearts. Connor did. And... We'll open up our chest. Look at all of that gold and some shivers. Fantastic. All right. We'll X out of here and continue on for our next battle. And let's see how this one turns out. Okay. Let's go ahead and hit it with like, oh, there's two. We'll go ahead and do this. So select the partition being shown in the picture. So halves, there are two parts to a half. Fourths is going to be when there are four equal parts. So what we need to do is we need to figure out if this has two equal parts, which would be halves or four. And one, two, it has halves. So we'll click right here and we will cast our spell. We got it right. So... Yes, way to go. Nine, 927 points of damage, or hit points left. And Ruckus missed, so let's go ahead and do our Star Cluster and see if we can get it down to one. So let's just click on this just to see. This says halves mean that the whole is divided into two parts. Four quarters. Quarters mean that the whole is divided into four parts. And so... That's why, for money, we have quarters. This is called a quarter, because if you put four of them together, that's going to equal one dollar. And so our quarter is worth 25 cents, because one quarter of a dollar is 25 cents. So 25, 50, 75, one dollar for four quarters. But we have one, two two halves here so we're going to click the top and leave the quarters there by themselves Woohoo! all right yay way to go oh we got both of them but it wasn't enough to get rid of our first ruckus so let's see here comes icicle shard again 396 points of damage we got to go for the aoe we got to go for star cluster Okay, so this is select the partition being shown in the picture. A half of the circle or a fourth of the circle. Now a half, that would be this whole side. So if this was colored in green, oh, not that side. <laughs> if this was colored in green, then you, it would be very easy to see that this was a half. If there's two parts covered, that's also a half too. Um, okay. But there is only one, so that would be one-fourth. A fourth of the circle is colored. All right. There we go, there we go. Yes, way to go. We're down to one. And I think we have one more attack left in this battle. We will see. And Hob is using Static Shock. Oh man, it hit all of us. Oh, let's see. Let's see what we can do. All right. So light wave, don't fail me now. We're going to make a rectangle with two halves. We're going to click on the arrow to divide the rectangle. Make a rectangle with two halves. Click on the arrow to divide the rectangle. If we forget, two halves means dividing the whole Two halves means dividing the whole into two equal parts. Into two equal parts. The equal is really important with fractions, so you're sharing equally. And here we have one, two, two parts, which means we have two halves to our rectangle. Woohoo! Way to go, way to go. And that was enough. Yes! Goodbye, Hob. We won again. You guys are awesome. We got 21 battle stars. Oh, yes. Apple Pot and Ice Sneak. Apple Pot's getting, gaining 80 hearts. And Fungi Fling evolved into Leaf Swarm. Way to go. Apple Pot unlocked Bubble Barrage. And awesome. Ice Sneak gained 100 hearts. 
and Icicle Shard evolved into Chill Out. Way to go, Ice Sneak. Awesome job. Let's open up our chest. And we got some shivers in there. Newt's telling us we got something. Thank you, Newt. So awesome. And we are ready to go to our next battle, which I think might be our last. Yay, shivers and some gold. Love that. Okay, let's come on in here. And... Oh, no, we're going to have to... Ooh. Um, I think that's the real monster. Oh, man, this looks tough. Oh, the scary worm battle. All right, let's hit it with light wave first. And this says the rectangle represents the bar of plasticine you have for the next two days. How should you divide it so you have an equal amount for each day? Now, divide means to break apart. Dividing the plasticine to last for two days means dividing the whole into two equal parts. So we have to make it last for two days. So that would be today and then tomorrow. So if we cast this spell, yes, yes, woohoo, we have got it. 681 points of damage. We don't know how we're doing with the health bar because the question mark, question mark, question mark monster is not showing us its health. So let's hope we can go ahead and do this. You and three friends want to share a brownie. Show how you would split the brownie using a rectangle. Now, so we are, have to think about this problem. If you just look up to see, you might think, well, I need three parts for my brownie. And this is three parts. But if we read it again, it says you and three friends. So here are your three friends. You still need a part of the brownie too, right? You want to make sure that you get some too. And so we would need to have one, two, three, four. Those are fourths or quarters. And so that would be enough for your three friends and you to enjoy the delicious brownie. Yes. All right. 676 points of damage. Oh, I wonder how long this battle is going to last. Chill out, miss. That is lucky for us. Let's go back to our light wave. And it says, select the partition being shown in the picture. So we have one, two, three. And so with our halves, <coughs> excuse me, we know that that is two. Fourths we've already learned is four. And thirds is going to be when something is broken into groups of three. And so this is two halves, three thirds, four fourths. So this is one, two, three. So that's going to be three thirds for us. Yes. All right. 681 points of damage. Is that enough? Is that? No, it's not. Chill out again with 443 points of damage. Oh, man. Let's see what happens here. When counting up by one, what number comes after 11? What number comes after 11? So when I am thinking about this, I always like to think about the numbers as they grow. And so we're trying to find out the number that comes after 11. Starting with the number that comes before is helpful for me because it gets me in my counting brain. And so as I do this, the number that comes before 11 is 10, which will help me count on beyond. So 10, 11, 12. And you can see I have 10, 11, which is going to be one in the tens place and one in the ones place. And then 10 is gonna be one in the tens place and zero in the ones place. And then 12 will be one in the tens place and two in the ones place. And so that is going to be 12 is our answer right here. Cast our spell and let's see if we can defeat this monster. 
the real monster. All right. That was weak for our Ice Sneak, which is good. Let's hit it with the Light Wave. Oh, I should have done an all-out attack. That would have been helpful. When counting up by five, what number comes after 68? So what number comes after 68 by count when counting up by five? So that's what we're trying to figure out. So as we do this, we can think of our 68 which is right here and as we're counting up we would skip counts by fives going up if you can do this in your head right now that is very helpful i'm going to go ahead and use a strategy here though that is helpful for me i'm going to use i'm going to figure out how much i need to get a 10 and then break it apart so five i can think of as two Plus five. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> five is two plus three. There we go. And um, I can go ahead and add this up. Where the eight plus two would give us ten. Regroup that over here. 6 plus one, 60 plus 10 is going to give us 70, or 6 tens plus 110 is going to give us 70, and so that would be 70 plus 3, and now it's very easy for me to move the 3 over into here. 70 plus 3 is going to give me 73. Now thinking about 73, you want to get to a point where you can just go 68 to 73 because it's moving up by five, but that takes some time. All right, that is a correct answer. And we will go ahead and do our all out attack if we have not gotten the monster yet. Question, question, question mark is just missed us. So let's do our all out attack and see if this can go ahead and beat this monster. So we're comparing these two numbers so we're trying to figure out which one is larger which one is smaller and i like to think of this being an alligator and so the greater than wants to eat the largest the alligator always wants to eat the largest number so since if the largest number is over here it would be a less than this is greater than this is equal so this is going to say 17 is greater than 16, which is correct, which is what we want. All right, so just one or two more minutes. I think we should be able to get this monster right now. And let's see what happens. Have we beat it? Is that enough? 3,800 damage. Oh my goodness, we won. That is awesome. Let's check our 21 battle stars each. So I am, Connor is going up to 18. Connor gained 102 hearts. And we're going to open up our chest. Look at all of that gold. We got gold, 100 gold coins. Awesome. And then we are going to go ahead and we're going to go tell Bach about it. And then we will be done. Yes, we want to go right straight back to Bach. I'm glad you had faith in us. All right. Ice worm? That must be what caused all these cave quakes. Mm. Well, it sounds like you defeated. So back to plan. Head back into mines. Okay. Uh-oh. I wonder what the bird's saying. What? Oh, Slip wants you to defeat ghosties in mines first. Ooh, ghosts. This is getting scary. So we will be trying to defeat the ghosts. All right, an achievement. An, an achievement. I love to share those. Um, we will be trying to <laughs> defeat the uh, ghosts in the mines next time. And I will be excited to learn some more math with you. Have a great day. And uh, see you soon. Take care, guys. Keep on math and keep on doing a great job. You guys are rock stars. Bye-bye.